Okay, back here with another lesson. This time we're going to focus on some characteristics of research papers. So we're going to talk about footnotes and citations. Um, citations, a little definition, is a reference to a source that usually includes the author's name and page number in the reference material. So if you pull something from another source, we need to give credit. I'm sure you guys have learned a little bit about that already. And then at the end of the document, we create something called a bibliography, which lists a little more detail about the sources that we have used. Um, the final part is a footnote. So the definition of a footnote is a comment that appears at the bottom of a document or page consists of two linked parts, the reference mark in the body of the document and the corresponding note text at the bottom of the page. So sometimes when you're reading you might see a little one or a little two and then if you look down at the bottom of the page you can read a little bit more about um, the word or the phrase that that one or two follows. Okay, so to get started on our document, I went ahead and opened the the thumbnail um, panel over here just so again it's easier to maneuver. We're going to start by using the search bar up here and we're going to type in the word recommended. It's going to take us right where we need to be. So we're going to work in this paragraph here and after the word footprint, I want to put my cursor here. Okay, after the T in the word footprint, we're going to go to the insert menu and we're going to insert a footnote. You can see that is right there and it's going to ask us where we want it. Bottom of the page is correct and we're going to use the number format so we're going to hit insert and then it's going to take us down here so we can type whatever else it is that we want to type to elaborate on our text. So down here we're going to write efforts to date resulted in 10% excuse me, in a 10% reduction in energy costs at our Seattle office from the prior year and period. Okay, so that is our footnote. Now we're going to go to, we're just going to click on this and it's going to move us back up the page a little bit. You can scroll, that's okay too. So we want to find the word materials here at the very end and it's followed by a um, quotation mark. So we're going to put our cursor after the quotation mark and then we're going to add our author. So right here we read, I am disturbed by outdoor designs packing design. If they want to promote the benefits of outdoor recreation, they should stop using plastic in their packing materials. Okay, so obviously someone said that. We need to give credit to that author. So we're going to click on our toolbox, which is a button right here. Again, with the cursor after the parentheses, or after the quotation marks, we're going to click on the show or hide the toolbox, and we want to show the toolbox. We need to choose this button at the very top which is going to take us to the citations menu and I already have some in here this is from some papers that I have written you should probably don't have any but we're gonna click the plus sign down here at the bottom sorry click the plus sign and it'll give us this new dialog box where we can create our new source so this type of source that we are using is an article and a periodical which is the fourth selection here so we're gonna click on article and periodical and it changes the things that you need to have different things are required for different citations. So we're going to fill in a few things here. Our author is Jake Allen, but we always do last name first and then first name. So Allen, Jake. The title is Eco-Friendly Packaging. If you hit the tab key, you can move to the next one or you can click. The periodic periodical title is Building, excuse me, Build It Monthly. And then we need to know the year it was published. Again, using the tab key to navigate there. The year it was published was 2012. And the month published is October. Okay, and then the final thing, we don't know the day, so we're going to leave day blank. Even though you see the star here, and usually a star means that it is a required field. Okay, but there's not a specific day that we found. So the next thing we need is page numbers, and that's 7 through 8. So once you have all of that filled in, click on OK and should pop up in our list here and it does and there is our author our citation okay we'll just close the citation box close the toolbox here and just hit the X and it goes back away okay and then we are going to create our bibliography page at the very end of our document 
Okay, so let's scroll all the way down. We can hit page um, three. I'm sorry, it would be page four. I'm not sure why that one wasn't showing. Hit page four, and then we want to be after the very last, um, the very last character that we have. So after that, I'm just going to hit enter one time, and we're going to go to with the layout tab selected. So we're going to change the the group here. We're going to change it to layout. Oops. And we're going to choose break. And we're going to hit page break. Okay, it says the word page right there. You got a blue arrow, and it kind of looks like two pages are breaking. So now we have a new page, and I don't want those return signs there. So delete one, and then we're going to add our bib page so document elements okay we're going to click on the button over here that says bibliography and we're going to choose works cited okay different formats different teachers will ask you to do different things but this is the one we're going to use now and that's going to create your works cited page that should only have jake allen in it i have all of these other ones which we don't want so let me see if i can just get them gone okay that's what that should look like. Okay, and that's the end of this section, so make sure we do a, a save, save, so Command-S, or again, you can hit your floppy disk up here, and that'll do it.